Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows activation error code 0XC004F012 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And it says if you're having problems with activation, select Troubleshoot to try and fix the problem. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in File Explorer. Best result, you should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. Select this PC on the left panel here, and then double click on your local disk where Windows is installed. So double click on that. Now you want to double click on the Windows folder. Locate the System32 folder and double click on it. And now go down to the SPP folder. So you might just have to scroll down, but again, it's SPP. Double click on it. Should be a store folder in here. Double click on that. And there should be a 2.0 value in here. Go ahead and double click on it. There should be a tokens.dat file in here. You want to right click on it and select rename from this context menu. So go ahead and select that. Or you can tap the F2 key on your keyboard. Doesn't really matter. But we're going to remove the .dat at the end, and we're going to call it .old instead, and then hit Enter. Select Yes, and then if you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes again. And then once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with Command Prompt. Right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in net, N-E-T, start, and then S-P-P, S-V-C. Again, net, start, S is in Sam, P is in Peter, P is in Peter, S is in Sam, V is in Victor, C is in Charlie, and then hit enter. Once that is finished, go ahead and type in C-S script. So just C script, I guess, dot E-X-E space slmgr dot vbs space forward slash rilc again c s c r i p t dot exe space slmgr dot vbs then a space forward slash rilc hit enter on your keyboard once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully the issue's been resolved, but if you need to run the activation troubleshooter at this point, you can open up the search menu and type in settings. Best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, select system. And then on the right side, scroll down to activation and select that. Now, if your computer is not activated, there should be a troubleshoot button that will appear underneath activation state. And then you should be able to go ahead and activate your device. One final thing you can look at as well, if you close out of here and open up the search menu, type in services, best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to locate the software protection service in here. And double click on it. Make sure startup type is automatic or automatic delayed start. And if service status is stopped, you want to select the start option. So you might also want to cycle through this. So if it's currently running, you might want to stop it and then start it again. And then once you're done that, see if the issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.